Hello, I'm John. I worked at Vulcan South. I worked at both of them, but briefly at Vulcan North on Guadeloupe um, when I first started around 97 and then ended up transferring to the Elizabeth Street store um, and worked there as a manager for about seven and a half years, something like that, uh, through 2005. So a couple of stories that are interesting. Um, the uh, one afternoon, the bass player from Nirvana walked in, um, Chris Novoselic, and he had um, a suitcase uh, in his right hand, and it was chained to his wrist. Uh, <laughs> so that was one of those metal jobs, you know, like like it looked like real serious business, and he clearly did not want to leave this suitcase unattended, um, not even in the car, but he did want to come in and rent a video. So he uh, and his companion walked around the store for, you know, 20, 30 minutes. You know, the, the other guy signed up and got a membership. I don't remember what they rented, but uh, I just thought it was hilarious. And I wanted to bring up Nirvana's music to him, but I didn't, of course. You know, I didn't want to put him on the spot when he's already in such a on such a highly sensitive mission. Um, another story that I like a lot um, that uh, was truly just out of this, out of left field, um, we shared a building, the Elizabeth Street store behind Wero's on South Congress and West Elizabeth had two, three uh, businesses in the, in the building. One was like a uh, you know, women's clothing store um, boutique and the uh, EcoWise was a, like an earth-friendly um, store right next door to us, and uh, so and one are the, the back hallway for Vulcan shared you know doors with both businesses. So um, Lisa was one of the employees at the apparel store, and she um, came over one day and just casually mentioned that she knew Renee Zellweger from childhood, and if Renee just happened to pop into town, she would bring her by and, and introduce her to us, and we, you know, we were like, that's awesome, thank you. And you don't expect anything ever to come of that normally, but not too many weeks or a couple of months later, the door opens and Lisa comes in and just says, hey, this is Renee, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, I kid you not, she uh, was like just totally cool, hung out with us, um, just answered questions, um, looked around, just gave us like, and I, she might have, I don't think she'd won the Oscar yet for Chicago. She did win for that, right? I think so, yeah. Um, but uh, she, it was probably during the Bridget Jones time, and uh, but she was super cool and just, you know, like, very, very approachable and, and easy to talk to. Uh, so she hung out for like 10 or 15 minutes and then they left and that was, that made our day. Um, uh, one final story, uh, one day the phone rang and uh, one of my employees, Kelly, um, answered it and then handed it to me uh, and I say, hi, this is John, can I help you? And they were like, is this the manager? And I was like, yes. And the next thing he says is, hi, I'm Bob Odenkirk from HBO's Mr. Show. And I was like, as soon as he said that, I was like, yes, I know you're, you know, I mean, I knew, I recognized his voice. So I knew, he, I knew it, it was legit. And he uh, goes on to propose an idea that was, you know, something we did for a, um, many years. Uh, HBO would not give them, he, him and David Cross, the right to put the show out on home video. So they made, you know, hundreds and hundreds of copies themselves of all, what was it, five, six seasons, five seasons, and um, at their own expense and did, made a list of cool video stores in the, um, in the country and called them all individually and proposed some manner by which they could rent um, the tapes to our customers 
uh, for free so they wouldn't violate their contract with HBO. And we just jumped at the chance and, you know, so we rented videos and if you rented, you know, two videos or something, you would get a free Mr. Show and people are like, what is that? <laughs> and, uh, but we pushed it on them and it was a huge success. And uh, anyway, that was just great getting a phone call from Bob Odenkirk. All right, hopefully you can use one of these stories. Um, shout out to all the people that ever worked at the Elizabeth Street store. The names are too many to mention, but especially want to mention Lance Hahn. Uh, rest in peace, man. You were the heart and soul uh, of Vulcan for many years. Uh, but Kelly, Matt, Bobby, Renee, Alex, the list goes on and on. And I'm going to forget people if I don't, if I don't stop now. And so anyway, hopefully you can use this. Uh, thanks for putting this together, Lars. I will talk to you soon. Take care, everybody. Stay safe.